man this Hey, Matt, let's hear some of that rodeo voice. How you go open the show? Well, you know, good evening, Huntsville, Alabama. My name is Matt McGee from Oak Ridge, Missouri. Oak Ridge, Missouri. Oak Ridge. Now, Mark usually does rodeo. You say this year two announcers because he's on a horse. That's right. That's right. We're going to put one in, announcer stand, one on the horse. You know, and that just, you know what, what that means for me? That's just double trouble for me. You know, I got <laughs> not just one. I got a, I got two to put up with. Well, Mike you know? Winworth, y'all know Mike. He's a legendary deal here in with Limestone County no Sheriff's doubt. Rodeo and Sheriff Blakely and now Special over in Huntsville. Rodeo. This is a kind of a new gig over there with indoors with Sheriff Dorning and, uh, Oh, well, BK Productions doing the show. Well, what do you think? How do you think it's going to turn out? I think it's going to be great. You know, uh, we're really excited. The guys have worked really hard over to uh, bring us to the Von Braun Center, and um, it's the first time we've had our finals. It's the actually the uh, Sheriff's Lone Star National Finals Rodeo. So it's a big deal. So it's it's a big oh, deal. Wow. This is the best of the best that's been going to the Lone Star Rodeos all year for 2012. So we're we're wrapping up 2012's finals. Now, do you get a vacation after this, or the season start over again? Vacation was over Christmas. Over Christmas. So <laughs> we're, we're done. Now, Matt, are there any local folks from Limestone County in the rodeo? There are. There's Barrel? actually uh, the number one cowgirl coming in in the barrel racing is Lacey. Scott. She lives right here in Athens, uh, uh -huh. formerly from Hernando, Mississippi, but she's been here in Athens for about three years now. She's won over twelve thousand dollars so yeah. far in 2012. Yes. And Go girl. Yeah, she's got about a three thousand dollar lead, so it's now we just had a call nice. about Cody Inman. He's a big uh, cowboy this year, but he's not in the finals. Is that the way we understand it? I don't believe so this year. I think he made it last year. I don't believe he made it this year. You just okay. checked internet. So, so we'll see. Okay, yeah. so we'll get on that. According to our staff. According, according to your staff. Yeah. That's right. According to your staff. Now Mike, what kind of uh, zaniness have you got planned for Friday and Saturday <laughs> down over there? Well, you know, I just I kinda shoot from the hip a lot, so you <laughs> no. know, you kinda never know what I'm gonna do. No, I have a couple uh one I acted, um, I actually done at the Sheriff's Rodeo probably six or seven years ago. I'm bringing it back, and I'm an animal trainer. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, the other one, you know, I got me some pyro. You know I got to blow uh -huh. something up. So. Now, how long have you been in the rodeo business? I've been clowning rodeos now for 18 years. 18. What Man, made you decide you to do that? I've been in, announcing the rodeos for three years, but I've been involved in it for about 20 years myself. What right. makes someone want to be a rodeo clown? The money. What got you no. going? Really? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, <laughs> Good honesty. You know, I, I actually started, I tried to ride bulls a little bit, and, you know, and I did some, and at a little practice place there around my house, and then I got to playing in the barrel, and at that time, I was 15 years old, you know, mm -hmm. and just turned 15, and those bulls, they hit the barrel, and I thought that was cool, you know, because <laughs> they hit the barrel, and, and uh, it just kind of branched out from there, but... Now, I'd rather stand there and tell jokes and do comedy. I don't want no part of getting hit in that side of that crime. Yeah, I tried that barrel we used to, when I was over at one of the Huntsville stations, and the other was, was it Long, Long Star? Longhorn. Longhorn. Longhorn had the rodeo for years. It was kind of, that was more of a gimmick type rodeo to me. But I get out there, I told y'all a story before, and I get in that barrel and have a wireless mic on, I'm interviewing the clown. They didn't tell you well, everything. Well, the clown was about this high, and I was about this high. <laughs> when they let that bull out, it's hard to get down in that barrel. <laughs> he hit that thing and spun it around. And the only bull I ever rode was when Blake Dorning was a teenager at their farm on a Sunday afternoon. I still got the story. And I rode it about from here to Gloria's Boots. And it was <laughs> all over with. So Hustle can expect something I could have never seen before this weekend. It's, it's going to be great action. We've got nine events, eight events actually. The bareback riding, saddle bronc riding, steer wrestling, team roping, cowgirls bar racing, and everybody's favorite, you know, the bull riding. So it's going to be a rodeo like never been to Huntsville. It's the cream of the crop. You know, we've been stirring that milk all year long, and the cream's come to the top this weekend. And he's, uh, he's also bringing in some uh, entertainment. I think it's going to be there Friday and Saturday night. We, we do. We have um, actually the rodeo uh, specialty act this year. Uh, Jessica Blair is uh, trick riding, Roman riding, as well as Orly. Preston's granddaughter. Oh, wow. Yeah, really? five years old. She's going to do her some little trick and fancy riding. Aww. So, yeah. And, and, and music. Music. Bill's, yeah, Bill's even got some pre rodeo music. Some singers are going to be there before and after. A huge after party after the rodeo each night right there at the Von Braun in the bar area. So. Mike, what's the biggest thing you have to look out for where you're at? I know we're clowning around. You're trying to make people laugh and keep them all entertained. But what on the serious side of it? Any dangerous? What do you worry about? You ever gotten hurt? Yeah, one time. I had a bull, I don't recall the rodeo, but a bull got after me and uh, I had to hightail it pretty quick to the fence. And about the time I stepped up on that fence, I stumped my toe on the arena panel. 
That's that was, that's a stub toe? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's it. I almost got that's run over. That's called being now. smart. That's called being smart. That's what yeah. that is, Jay. Well, Paul Kane almost got me run over at the thing a couple of years ago down yeah. there. I don't know if that was accident or not, but we do have to say a special hello to uh, someone yeah. that enjoys the rodeos all the time. Curtis Child. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, Curtis. Curtis. Yeah, well, show sure picture. Curtis, he's watching over in Hartsville this morning. Curtis, and they ain't the same at the rodeo without you. That's, that's Curtis right. in the middle. That is uh, Curtis in the middle. Yeah, Curtis, always a great time. I know he's watching way. this so morning. So people need to come out Friday and Saturday night and get their tickets and come on out. So this is going to be kind of unusual. What's the difference between something like this and something we have here outdoors in May? Sheriff's right now. Well, for one, it's indoors, you know, so that changes the whole atmosphere of well, the rodeo. Well, it is February. Yeah. Um, you know, we start the rodeo out, dark house, spotlights, you know, do that big opening. As well as, uh, like Matt said, this is the best of the best. This is our finals, and um, you're going to see Action some high. great times and some high mark scores in the rough stock. So, uh, well, and people can really be excited. This is going to be a big deal. Sure, sure. And it'll seat about 6,000, too. You bet. 7, Ticket more. prices start at $14 and go up. Uh, Showtime is at 7.30. It's a great way to celebrate Groundhog Day. You bet it, it is. is. <laughs> it's a night, uh, Friday night's military night, uh, active military, $2 oh. off, and then Saturday night uh, is emergency responder night, so they get a discount as well. Well, when y'all see uh, Bill Dunham, tell him I said hello, and I'll see him at home probably later on today or something. You won't like see that. him he's, for days he's out, Yeah, he's out working. That's all. He's, he ain't no cowboy. Oh. He's a workaholic, though. <laughs> he's yeah, he's a workaholic. <laughs> he, know, he knows what he's doing over there. Anyway, good to see you again, Mike. Mike, yeah. nice to meet you. I know y'all do a super job this weekend out at the VBC. In Huntsville, Friday and Saturday night, Lone Star Finals, and we'll see y'all back in May. You bet, can't wait. Yeah, unless we see y'all this weekend, Jeffrey.